Good morning and welcome to Garage Garage! So, if you haven't been following along, we've started building a car bed. Your bed is a car. Yeah, but it's a sweet car. Today on the bed build, first thing is we're gonna secure the frame. This is kind of coming apart, so I have a few ideas of how to attach everything. Then we're gonna have to weld the chassis, which we extended 19 inches last time. Uh, number three, we're gonna make two one. So we're gonna take both pieces we have, try and mate them together. Gonna have to come up with something clever, also very strong, because if we hit anything, I don't want it to be destroyed. The last thing for the day is we're gonna test roll it around and see if anything, uh, if we have clearance issues or whatever, and make sure everything fits nice so when we do drive it, we don't have any binding issues and crash for no reason. We got a lot to do, let's get started. All right, so you can see how this is coming apart here. That's a major problem because if we hit anything, it's all gonna fall apart. I was experimenting yesterday with just some rivets to see how that would work. That's a piece of aluminum. I'm not gonna use aluminum, I'm gonna use steel because I wanna be able to weld to it. And then I am going to use aluminum later in this area over here, kind of rivet that in because we're gonna need a heat shield. It's gonna be so hot. So first we're gonna join these together. I'm gonna put probably a through bolt through here as well because there's a little hook that goes in, in here to hold this together and bolt that together so nothing falls apart. We have one big frame. Uh, after that's done, then we'll start welding the extensions here. That's good. I'm gonna weld to this eventually. So this is gonna be a kind of a dual purpose plate. Uh, when I am ready to weld it, I'm gonna pop these rivets out and then weld it so it doesn't melt the plastic and then we'll let it cool, rivet it all on. But now that this is together, I'm gonna start on the cart. So I kind of have the designated length already. Get it as straight as possible, weld that up, set this back over it. This did have issues rubbing like right in here on full lock and the steering. So we'll try and fix that. We'll try and keep the weight down as much as possible. I'm gonna have to add a bunch of heat shields just because it's gonna put off a lot of heat and this is plastic. It's probably gonna catch on fire, so. But hey, it's Garage Garage. What's Garage Garage without a fire? <laughs> So I welded those bars in, they're not going anywhere now. But now uh, what I'm thinking about is where I'm going to put kind of the frame around everything, which is very difficult to think about because this is pretty flexible here in the middle. So we don't want any weight there and that's twisting the whole chassis. I want all the weight over the front wheels here and then all the weight here in the back and then we'll join the two just to keep everything, you know, sturdy. Woo! Dude, as a child, I wanted this so bad. I did too. Look at this now, Zach. You made it, bro. You <laughs> made it. All right, so what's next? Uh, I gotta make the bed attached to the cart itself, but it's not as easy as what you might think. You can't just attach it. I wanna make it removable too so we can work on it, but it's gonna have to support a lot of weight because there's gonna be a frame, a bed, and then a person on top of that. And that's really high up. Instead of being back here in all this structure where the normal seat is, which is designed for the cart, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. What about electric steering? That way you don't have to have... No? I think... Okay. I think... stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Normally these have slats of wood that go into here, and if you've ever taken a bed frame apart, you've seen those slats in there. To replace the box spring, we're just gonna use a piece of plywood because we have limited room. So what I need to do is build a couple pads that will bolt the couple 2x4s to that will then bolt the uh, plywood on. And the plywood will probably do in sections as well. You know, this can be unbolted. Almost the rest of this will be made out of wood. So, just a couple bars coming up. Brace those things in, a few gussets. I'll have you maybe cut some stuff out there. Then after that, what we're gonna have to do is worry about the fireproofing of it, because we're gonna have wood and we're gonna have plastic. So we're gonna have to build a box around the engine, but we also want it to get air and be cool, so we'll have to do some ventilation. 
two-stroke pipes get super hot, especially if you're flogging on it. If we had one of those old school gaming chairs that, you know, you'd sit on the ground, it's kind of like a bean bag and it has the armrest. What we could do if we don't have enough support, this being plywood, is also run a couple pieces of wood with a, a little bit of backing to lean it and then set that inside the chair, right? So that'll hold it. And then you have that gaming chair, so it'll still look like a bed, but you'll have a little bit of bolstering so you have some control, otherwise you'll just fall out. To attach the bed, what I'm gonna do is probably do like a one inch bar loop here and then a plate in between and we'll bolt it in here and then do the same to the rear. The engine placement will never change. It's just gonna go forward and backwards. It's just an inch or so to tighten the chain. And that's as close as I wanna to be to the radiator. I guess the next step here is to make this U-bar. So I'm gonna tie that into here and here. Weld that on and the plate, we'll bolt that in, and then I'm gonna do the same to the rear. So I'm gonna sleeve that, and that's thick enough, like that'll work. So we could run a bolt through that whole thing. And this could actually even hold the exhaust as well. Having added 19 inches to the cart should make it easier, not as aggressive to steer. So we'll deflate the tires, slip these things on, inflate the tires, have a little drift set up too. So I want to put the fuel cell and the battery in here. This is going to be so hot and difficult to deal with. So what I'm going to do is cut here and here, and then also a straight line down here. And we'll fold this in and basically pinch that together. So that's going to create a vent and we can bend this out a little bit. And then for this one, since this is hollow, I'll put another piece. So it's going to sit kind of like this, right? It'll be a channel like this. And then that will go straight to the radiator and we'll have to do something to duct it out of the rear as well. That can all be shrouded together to bring in cool air and also evacuate the heat. Because other than that, it's just going to be sitting in a box underneath your butt just baking and probably catch you on fire. So we don't want that. Car alarms. Welcome along, Beach. We got alarms going off, <clears throat> so it's time to go. Time for the beast. It rolls, I'm excited, it's a bed, and I'm tired. I'm <laughs> gonna pick this up tomorrow. Good morning, now we carry on this build. We got the cart rollable, and uh, what we need to do today is attach this, like actually bolt it in place. For the future, what I want to do is actually put like a diffuser for the exhaust and such too. So I don't want to get that solidified and welded on. I want to kind of plan that out a little better. But I want to get it rollable and then start probably doing the upright for the bed frame itself. We will get as far as we can and um, hopefully by the end of the day, maybe we'll roll it down the dock or something. Just to kind of test the height of everything before we make everything permanent. I'm getting excited. So I'm going to get right into it and just get started. All right, first thing, I gotta square this up before I actually bolt it in and attach it. I like to center it up as much as I can, and I'm um, gonna take some measurements off of whatever, and hopefully get that, that centered up right here, and then make something to hold this uh, temporarily. Let's do it! Look at that thing. This is the fastest handbrake lever I've ever made. Well, uh, we're gonna try a man line. I got a handbrake now, which I have to lean extremely far forward and push forward, and then the steering's absolutely useless, so. <laughs> what could go wrong? Wow. I pulled when I 
Push. Wow. Panic break. <laughs> that was that was that almost. Was scary. I thought that was a car that bed. Was it. Off. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Daniel, dangerous. Wow. Should we try that it's one more time? <laughs> what happened? So stupid. What? There's no steering. <laughs> Kyle, what you think, bud? Dude. Stoked. <laughs> uh, that's just what we needed. Yeah. Brakes work well. Brakes work really well. Yeah. Except for when you pull it. I pulled it, but it's actually a push. I went panic brake and I pulled, but it's a push because this is supposed to be on a lever going forward. So that was scary, but other than that, works. We just need to raise everything up, sit on top of it, put some horsepower to it, make it look a little nicer. But yeah, it's getting there. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm pretty stoked. We gotta get some supplies, so. And I'm I'm on a high on this one. This is fun, so. That's a wrap! You're not even doing it right. You gotta, you yeah, gotta, your hands you are like, go. you gotta go this way. You know what you're doing? No.